broke me off right there. All right, people, what is up and welcome back. So today is Monday. Uh, we have that weird northerly wind that's coming through and uh, it's pretty nice and cool outside right now. I think it's about 76, 77 degrees. We're at the surf. This is the flattest I've ever seen the Galveston surf. I'm just hoping it's not chocolate milk because it might be, but we're gonna get out there and see what happens. Don't have top water to start off with. Got my reel back finally after two months in the shop. So excited. And uh, yeah, you can throw a top water and switch over to some tails. All artificial today, unless we see some mullet and then we brought the cast net. So stay tuned, let's see if we can get after them. And uh, it's getting light, so it's time to go. All right, here we go. Like a rocket. Well, I thought I got bit a minute ago. Finally hooked up, a little dinker trout. But good sign, because there's something out here. Nolan is on over here, something little, he says. Head shaker, trout, huh? Oh, he's under me. He's in me. <laughs> little trout, bigger than mine, I'm getting bigger. Guys, I don't know if y'all can hear me because it's wind, but I'll tell you what, this wind is picking up, blowing out of the uh, north, northwest. It's picking up quite a lot. So we left the beachfront because it got blown out after about an hour. It's still early, it's about eight o'clock. So we just pulled up to another one of our locations and as soon as we stepped out of the car uh there's bait everywhere so it's awesome this is a lot dirtier than the water usually is here and the wind is still blowing on our face but i'm gonna throw this cast and show you what the bait is out here i've already thrown it once so i know but i'm gonna show y'all and then uh we're gonna fish out here because if there's this much bait in this area there's probably something around here and So we've got out to about thigh deep, a little bit less. I'm gonna get some mullet here, hook it up. See if I can grab one. Yep, there we go. All right, you can really hook these however you want them. If I was casting it to leave it out, I'd hook it by the tail. Since I'm gonna be working it, I'm gonna hook them by the head. Take them, go right up through the lips. I'm just gonna go both lips, just like that. So they'll still be alive. Um, the only problem with both lips is that it causes off their mouth, they will die a little quicker, but it ain't bad. Then we're just gonna cast them out. The good thing here is that with these big old weights on here, we can fish into the wind, no problem. Basically, just gonna tighten it up. A few pops every now and then, let it sit. Let him do the work for us and we'll see what happens. My lady fish, biggest lady fish ever, right here. Smacked my lure and took off. Watch out, noise coming towards you. Dude, this lady fish is like 100 pounds. <laughs> this is a freaking tarpon or a lady fish? What's going on here? He's coming around you, I'm switching with you. Dude, the crabs were biting it again, and I was like, those are crabs. Oh, he broke me off right there. I know, he pulled the hook. No, he broke me off. Woo, people. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, that was awesome. No one got a little baby lady fish. All right, I have a flounder. He's starting to pull. We may not be counting. Are you freaking joking me? What? He really yeah, There's some teeth marks. Jeez, dude. I'm going to toss it right back at him. I've got something. It's a flounder. There we go. Whoa, 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 buddy. Let's take a chill pilly. We got him, boys. Oh, feels good. First decent fish of the day, and he swallowed it. I'm telling y'all guys, I've missed, what was it? That's like three times I missed a flounder. I had one over there bite, took my lure off. I put on, I mean, took my uh, mullet, put on a new mullet. He bit it, uh, he started running with it so i closed it and he took it again 
And then I cast it over here, missed him once, um, and he started running with it. So then here he is now. He's fat. It's a fat flounder. I mean, he ain't nothing crazy. He's probably 16, but check that out. Definitely a fatty. So we can get him on the stringer here. All right, guys. I got one over here. Letting him eat. I already pulled him up off the bottom a little bit, but I'm letting him eat. Nolan just missed one that was right here next to us. He said he had a bite. So we're gonna set the hook. Oh, dude, got guys. I'm not really big on fishing with the mullet for a flounder. I'd rather have some shrimp. You have to let him eat for too long. I've got the patience. I just don't know how long to let him. All right, I got bit right here. I'm giving him a long time. Oh, he's taking it. Let him take a little bit of line. I'm gonna have to set it. He's little. Potato chip, potato chip. Do, 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 do. And he's off. Alright, I have one right here. Ate a little mullet. You know, let it eat for 15, 20 seconds, something like that. It's starting to move just a little bit. So we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Now we're going to catch him. It was little. Thought it felt good, but it's not. Little baby. No telling how many of these bites we've had today have been little bitty guys like this. It's a flounder. It's a flounder. <clears throat> there we go, boys. I was casting up towards the marsh grass. Just messing around, didn't expect to catch anything. Thought this was a redfish when he hit, saw a big old boil. But no, it's a keeper flounder. What are the odds of that, dude? We were just walking back, I was just messing around thinking, hmm, that'd be cool if a redfish would come wake up in here. That's awesome. Measurement here. 15. 15. All right, we're gonna throw him on the stringer. There we go, and that's two of them. Man, I was excited that was a redfish, but hey, I'll take a flounder any day. And that is why you always put your fish on the stringer before you unhook him. <laughs> Woo! So we're back at the house now, obviously. Um, we got our two flounder right here, but before we get to clean these, I just wanna say, if you're liking this video, make sure to go down and hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already. So anyways, um, we're gonna fillet this one because today we're gonna be making a white, no, actually, I'm not gonna tell y'all, it's a surprise. So today, anyway, we're gonna be cooking this one. And then we've been having a lot of comments about how to debone a flounder and asking if we can show a video on that. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna debone him in just a little bit. And that'll be a complete separate video for y'all. So let's get right into this. All right guys, so we're extremely hungry right now. So we're just gonna be making up something extremely simple. We're gonna be making a classic white bread fish sandwich. So, um, but you know us, we can't just make it that easy, right? Cause that'd be boring, y'all don't wanna watch that. So to make this recipe awesome, we're gonna make an amazing sauce right here. And then we're gonna, you know, throw some toppings on our sandwich. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. We're gonna go over the ingredients and then we're gonna start throwing this fish in the pan. All right, so to make it easy for y'all, we have this into three separate categories. So we have our stuff for our sauce right here. Then we have our stuff for our fish. And then we have our bread and our toppings. So let's go over all them individually. So we have our mayonnaise, ketchup, relish, horseradish, dill, fresh dill. And then for the fish we have Black and seasoning, obviously the flounder, and then a little bit of flour here. For the toppings, we have a tomato, some uh, homemade smashed up avocado, and some uh, bread. So we're gonna get our fish ready first. All we're gonna do, take our flour, put it in a little Tupperware. We don't need much, right? We only have four little flakes here. That's probably way more than we need. And then we could throw this on our fish, but we'll just throw it in the flour. Whole bunch of it, because we like that flavor. Welcome to Flavor Town. Anyways, we're gonna mix that up a little bit. And uh, we're not gonna be using egg wash or anything for our fish, just because we don't want a huge thick crust on it. We're just trying to give it a little bit of something, okay? That's nice and mixed up. And all we're gonna do is take our fish, throw it in here. 
And look at that. That is perfect. This looks like something you get in the store. All right, our pan's nice and hot. We just got a uh, half a half a stick, so a fourth of a stick of butter in there. Just gonna throw our fish in. As y'all can see, they've been uh, kind of soaking up that flour. Just gonna throw them in. Not really much sizzle going on, but we're not worried. They'll get there. Something like that. We're just gonna let those sit. We'll flip them over and we'll show you what it looks like. In the meantime, we're gonna make this sauce. Guys, so it's always with anything that we make, any of our sauces, Add whatever you want to it or take out whatever you want to it. This is just what we like, so this is what we're gonna make. Start with some mayonnaise. About, you know, we got two sandwiches going here. So, uh, eh, two things of mayonnaise look good. We're gonna go with just some normal ketchup. Looks good to me. A little bit of sweet relish. Oh, we'll use a little spoon to get it out. Big old scoop of sweet relish because it adds that crunch. Okay. Then we're gonna take some horseradish here. A lot of people don't like horseradish. I do. So in it goes. And then to finish it off, some fresh dill. All right, kind of like a little tartar sauce. A lot of ingredients that would go in tartar sauce. There we go, fresh dill. Now what we do is we take our spoon, mix it up. We're gonna add a dash of salt, maybe a little bit of black pepper. That's pretty much it though. We're gonna have a little bit more ketchup just cause we want the color to be more red. Oh, but I can tell you what, that's gonna be delicious. So let's get the salt in there and let's start building this sandwich once that fish is done. All right guys, so the fish is done. We're gonna start adding it together. Our bread, add our sauce to it, toasted bread, lightly toasted. A couple big of sauce. Now we're going to throw on our fish, so a piece of fish like that, a couple more pieces, something like that, avocado on the other one, piece of tomato, Close our bread and let's cut it. Oh. All right, guys, this is how our fish sandwich ended up right here. Check that out. We're super hungry. I'm not even going to sit down for this. I'm going to take a bite right now. I'll tell you how it is. Mmm, this side. Mmm. My goodness. For a white bread fish sandwich, put our own little twist on it. That is the way to go right there. Super simple, probably took a total of 15 minutes to make this thing, not even about five minutes of cook time. Wow, that was awesome. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Hit that like button, leave a comment as we've said before. Subscribe if you're not already because most of the people watching are not subs. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. It does us a huge favor, we really appreciate it. Until next time, peace.